friends, hearken, listen. Was that a stirring? Was that a clatter? Shall we throw open the sash? Tis a terrible bitterness outside, but oh, ho, ho, ho. Methinks I hear in the distance a ringling of silver baubles signaling that jolliest of times beyond the wind cometh. You there, boy, what day is it? <laughs> Doth my clock say true? Have I not missed it? Tis time, tis time. Every cheek be rosy, every greeting be chuffed with jubilance. Ring the bells, lads. Let them all sing out in glorious exaltation. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ah! The winter holidays are here. Unless you're in a Walgreens, in which case they've been here since September. <laughs> and like, sure, they got a couple of Hanukkah setups and a Kwanzaa corner over at Target, but really it's Christmas. On that we can agree, Fox News, mostly because you won't shut the fuck up about it and throw a pissy fit unless we do. And I'm not mad about it. It's comforting in its jollies. Who doesn't dig a snuggly fire and twinkly lights and nog and festive tidings? The vibe is nice. I like a pan flute. I love a sleigh bell. And yeah. It's really a consumerist holiday, Rager, because Scandinavian traditions and Puritans and pagans and basically everybody that gets fucking cold this time of year figured out how to festoon the grounds against the seasonal depression for a thousand years or whatever until Coca-Cola bought it and invented Santa Claus and Hallmark was summoned from the deep like an elder god in 1910 when a family of supplicant believers formed a summoning ring in Missouri and called forth its eldritch power and now we have to send a card or it doesn't mean anything, but hey... There's drink, there's songs. I'm not mad about it, just please do it responsibly. That's the best present you can give me this holiday season, humanity. Celebrate responsibly. You don't need to blast the Mariah Carey song in the morning on the train. You have headphones, you got them last year. I promise we're gonna listen to it eventually. It is a bench clearing banger, seconded only by Sia's Candy Cane Lane. But like, it's not even noon and we're late. So keep the cheer to a simmer, you know? You can go all in on your decor. Nothing gives me the spirit like a full on garden of inflatable friends just bobbing around like they're drunk at a lecture. Fucking go nuts, but go easy on those that don't do it. For a lot of humans, Christmas is like the Super Bowl. Not into it! <laughs> but I love a good spread, and I'm just happy you're happy. Don't break anything. <laughs> so give those that don't, aren't into it, not about it, dealing with past trauma about it, or just don't fucking care, a break. You can drink the holiday cheer wine until you piss Christmas all you like. The rest of us are not gonna harsh your flow if you do not flow all over our yards, you know? Celebrate responsibly or Santa will tie a summons to your coal and shove a fucking Christmas tide lawsuit into your stocking. My tale begins December 18th of the 2022 year of yore. A noble cashier at a Taco Bell in San Pedro, California named Alana was invited to revel with her coworkers at an employee Christmas party. And of course she accepted the invitation. One can only assume it was packaged lovely in a crunch wrap supreme and delivered by Owl. Being that this was foretold by her revelers and superiors to be a quote, potluck style buffet where quote, alcohol will be served, Alana decided to bring with her a festive offering of a bowl of homemade guacamole. That one thing you must remember or nothing that follows will seem wondrous. <laughs> Upon arriving with her guests at Fiesta Wigs annual Christmas gala, Alana noticed that the old goat had done something quite unconventional, but nonetheless festive this year by, quote, covering the windows and cameras with wrapping paper. <laughs> However odd and seemingly not befitting a deluxe cravings boxanalia as the usual festivities at an employee party at a Taco Bell, Alana decided to regale them with her bowl of guacamole just the same, for twas the season! And it was probably better for everybody's colon to have some old made food. As the night went on, the hour growing long, over many a cinnamon twist and cheesy fiesta potato, much extolling and jubilating was had. 
for twas a Christmas party for the workers. Scrooge had indeed been true to his word. More coal for the fire, as well as supreme combos and Mexican pizzas adorning the feasting table, but probably not because they all worked there, but maybe because there was, quote, alcohol being served and I've never had Taco Bell sober. Whatever <laughs> was adorning this Dickensian bill of fast fare that eve, it was a mighty repast. And Alana adjourned to the front to colicky with her co-workers, presumably to comment on the peculiarity of the wrapping papered windows and cameras, checking in, no doubt, on how they were liking her bowl of homemade guacamole. After much jawing and gossip, Alana returned inside to the feast when she discovered things had taken a turn from naughty to not, from nice to, you get it. Quote, <laughs> around midnight, Alana, who had been socializing outside the restaurant for a short while, walked back into the restaurant and witnessed her coworker having sex with his wife in front of everyone at the party as she was kissing another coworker simultaneously. Quote, she was shocked, disgusted, and outraged by what she saw and ran outside. The revel's too jolly, even in this most festive time of year. But the night was not to end there, nay. Alana, fearing the winter chill, came back inside to see Twix the ramble and raging fucking three-way in a Taco Bell. Two of her co-workers with the chills and vapors, having imbibed too much frivolity, one heaving their Christmas regrets into a trash can, while the other, having no recourse or purchase, totally puked in her bowl of homemade guacamole. This would not stand. And Alana confronted this co-worker who had tossed all of the cookies reserved for old Saint Nick directly into Alana's bespoke tureen, only to have her quote, state that she wanted to physically fight her at that point. Thankfully, no fight occurred because she was able to de-escalate the situation. Two days later, Alana reported this epic Chipotle meltdown of an employee Christmas party to HR. And those who decided to stuff their beefy melts in full view of the festive guests were fired. But it didn't stop there. Three days later, Alana re received a holly jolly bashed in car window and then, quote, began to receive threats of violence from multiple co-workers. This, of course, was not in the spirit of the season, nor an appropriate reaction to someone who just witnessed their supervisor Baja blasting his wife while other co-workers puked in their guacamole bowl and then was called out for being in no way proper to celebrate the season of giving, though a lot of giving was gave in that Taco Bell on December 18th, 2022. And so, Alana left the business behind. And then last week, November 15th, 2023, filed a full-on fucking lawsuit against Taco Bell to begin the Christmas time. Many blessings be on her house and her legal proceedings and may her star outshine them all. Humans, yes, I offer you this holly time warning as the snow begins its journey. Beware the Christmas! and all it has to offer, for it offers a lot of delights and promises of joy and peace on earth, etc., etc., as the season approaches. But like, take it fucking easy, okay? <laughs> Christmas responsibly. And yeah, I said Christmas, because this is not a Hanukkah thing. <laughs> you don't hear about Buddhas getting tanked on Bowdy's Day and fist fighting a whole family at Golden Corral. <laughs> No one is celebrating Kwanzaa by doing rails at a Pitney Bowes office rager in a private room at the Wildwood Lodge. When is the last time you heard of a Zoroastrian shitting in a beverage tub because they did too many Shotskis at Trader Todd's? It doesn't happen. This is a Christmas thing. And honestly, if we're dishing here, I blame the carols. They're all basically soccer chants. Any one of them can be belted in any state of intoxication. You get a request for, oh, come all you faithful at the Christmas karaoke and your nine tequilas in, no problem. You don't even have to know the fucking words. Just da 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 And you've nailed it. It only fuels the need to go ham, not like you need a reason. It's cold, everyone's tired of everyone's shit, and it's gonna get dark at noon for the next five months. We're all one hard cider away from becoming a wassailant this time of year. That is why you light the trees. That is why you spike the punch, heat the cider, and why getting late in the winter is the best time for it. But be responsible, because no matter your Yuletide needs, there's other people on this planet, and they deserve your respect, 
Same as you deserve theirs, especially when the roads are covered with ice and one wrong step could land you in physical therapy to spring. So, humans, take heart and a moment as the caroling begins and the punch is served. And remember my tale because tis the weeks before Christmas and all through the land, everyone's getting tanked as fast as they can. From security guard to new hired boss, everyone's spending Christmas this year in the sauce. So stock up your wet bar, but make decisions with care, because the lives of other fucking people will probably be there. Drink, make new friends, and make merry as well, but not so much you have a threesome and a fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> and as I exclaim, <laughs> and as I exclaim, as we all get lost, Celebrate responsibly, and we'll all live moss. Happy holidays. Good night. Chad the bird.